Okay, so the first rotator cuff muscle we're going to look at will be the supraspinatus when we're referring to joint actions. And you can see here how the supraspinatus sits. Because it's coming here through and sits on the top of the humerus, a contraction can only cause abduction, abduction. So it creates abduction and stabilizes the shoulder joint. So an exercise that, that would be would be like a lat raise. So anything lifting the arm up towards the side would cause abduction. Now we can see infraspinatus. Now because of the location where we can see it sits, it's here on the shoulder blade coming around onto the humerus. We can see a contraction can only cause one action. And that action is lateral rotation of the humerus. So we see if that muscle shortens, the whole humerus is going to have to laterally rotate. So that would be if your palms were facing towards your thighs lateral rotation would be the moving out. It would be a supination action. An exercise where you could work lateral rotation would be lying on your side on a bench using a dumbbell and laterally rotating the humerus to work the rotator cuff, specifically infraspinatus. Now what we can also see is teres minor also plays a similar road to uh, infraspinatus. We can see how both of them sit very similar the way they sit. So their actions are also going to be very similar. If I take away infraspinatus and just show Terry's minor, we can see how it sits and a contraction because it sits posteriorly will also make lateral rotation. And finally we have subscapularis we can see sits under the scapula. Again, we can look to see where the muscle sits in relation to the humerus. And a contraction, which will be a shortening of the muscle. Try and work out what action that would be from shortening. Would that be laterally rotating or medially rotating? That would be medially rotating. The muscle would shorten. It would contract, therefore the arm, i.e. the humerus, would medially rotate. That would be a pronation. And there we have the four rotator cuff muscles. If I put them back on for you, we can see infraspinatus, we can see supraspinatus, and we can see teres minor. So muscle actions are really important when it comes to shoulder joint actions. Good luck um, with your exam.